What's up everyone, Shinobi Bros Official is back and will give the updates about Anime World. In this video, we will discuss about how Naruto got new Power Chakra mode. But before that, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe so that Shinobi Bros will continue to improve in providing info and updates. Let's get right into the video. So far Naruto has received a great source of power and chakra from Kurama inside his body. However, due to the battle against Ishiki, Naruto and Kurama forced to use Baryan mode to win the battle, but at the cost that Kurama would die as a side effect. Kurama's death due to the use of Baryan mode has left a big hole in Naruto's heart. In addition to Kurama who has been in Naruto's body since Naruto was born, and their friendship that has lasted a very long time, the void also occurs due to Naruto losing almost half of the strength he has. Basically Kurama's death has made Naruto doesn't have his superpowers anymore. On the other hand, even though Ishiki Otsutsuki has been defeated, the reality is that the threat to Shinobi World does not just disappear. There are still many dangers that lurk in Shinobi World today, for example code which Ishiki Otsutsuki's most loyal subordinate, God Otsutsuki the king of the Otsutsuki who is described as having hundreds of Jogon around its body. And sadly the biggest threat that currently haunts Konoha is his own son, who is none other than Boruto, considering that Otsutsukification process in Boruto's body has reached 80% and the process is still ongoing. Naruto is well aware of this great threat, and knows that right now he does not have superpowers that can stop the threat. Therefore, Naruto with his responsibility to protect the village as Hokage, began to try various ways to get new powers, to become the protector of Konoha. While Naruto working on document checking as usual, he suddenly felt unbearable drowsiness and fell asleep on his desk. In his short sleep Naruto met Kushina who smiled at him, who suddenly woke Naruto up with tears at the corners of his eyes. When Naruto woke up and wiped his tears, he found something unusual of an article containing the legacy of Uzumaki clan right on his desk. It was written that the remnants of the ruins of Uzumaki clan were still on the outskirts of Konoha village, and there were lots of terrifying masks, as well as an aura that's so oppressive as if there's a large chakra flow stored there. As we know, in the past Uzumaki clan had its own residence in Uzushio village land of whirlpools. However, after the massacre of Uzumaki clan occurred, Uzushio village disappeared from the map, and the area has now become part of Konoha. Even though Naruto has become Hokage, in fact until now he has never been to a place where the ruins of Uzumaki are located. Don't know why at that time Naruto seemed to be called to come to that place, to check for himself the reason behind the existence of such pressing aura there. It could be that there is a secret of Uzumaki clan that has never been found by anyone. In the evening when Naruto had finished his piled up work, he alone came to Uzumaki's clan storage temple, the ancient ruins of Uzumaki clan. As a result of the place being almost 100 years uninhabited, Uzumaki's clan storage temple from the front looks very shabby and messy. Just as written in the article that Naruto read, the place seemed to have an aura that suppressing it made Naruto's chest tight. As soon as Naruto entered the place, the first thing he saw were 26 Shinigami masks on display with appearances not much different from one mask to another. Even though the masks had quite a scary appearance, Naruto didn't feel in such pressing aura coming from them. Remembering that Sage Mode can sense chakra, Naruto immediately activated his Sage Mode and at that moment found a lump of chakra resembling a scroll under the ruins of the building. When Naruto held the scroll, Naruto's mind seemed to be transported to the past where Uzushio village still stood strong, and there are still many Uzumaki residents with their characteristic red hair there. This situation made Naruto very confused, especially with the fact that the people there seemed not to be aware of Naruto's existence. Even if Naruto tried to touch them, Naruto's hand could only pass right through their bodies. Naruto even more surprised by the appearance of someone who suddenly spoke to Naruto. The person has red hair characteristic of Uzumaki clan resembling a spirit, and has an astral body. Before Naruto could speak, the person seemed to know Naruto's name and said that he had no ill intentions towards Naruto, then introduced himself as the ancestor of Uzumaki clan, Hayabusa. Naruto did not understand this situation at all, and asked why he's in this dimension, which Naruto thought the past of Uzumaki clan. Without further ado, Hayabusa said this dimension indeed the Uzumaki clan's past before the massacre. Hayabusa continued that Naruto was forced into this dimension because Naruto had touched Uzumaki forbidden scroll, and Hayabusa's job basically just as Naruto's guide. Hayabusa told Naruto to open the scroll that he had been holding, which Naruto then opened carefully because of the amount of chakra pressure he's feeling. 
When the scroll was opened, there were various secret techniques that Naruto had never known before. Just by opening the scroll, Naruto felt a huge chakra flowing in his body, making Naruto wonder what's happening to his body right now. Without answering Naruto's question, Hayabusa touched Naruto's forehead, which at that moment created an effect of excruciating pain due to many information that entered his head. Just like how Uzumaki's life was in the past, the secret technique possessed by Uzumaki clan, to the end of Uzumaki clan's glory with the massacre that occurred. After some time, the pain started to subside and Naruto got a lot of secret information that never recorded before. But when Naruto opened his eyes, Hayabusa was no longer in front of him because Naruto had returned to his consciousness. The confusion that Naruto had previously felt got replaced by curiosity about the information he had just received, one of which was how to get the new power that Naruto needed all this time to replace Karama's long-lost power. But at that time Naruto had to hold back his curiosity, because it's already late at night and he had to return home to restore his energy which had been sucked in after entering the dimension. The next day, Naruto woke up earlier than usual, and asked Shikamaru to temporarily replace his position as Hokage, because Naruto felt that learning the technique he got from Hayabusa not gonna be easy. Shikamaru himself didn't mind this, as if he understood that Naruto trying hard to protect the village. Using reverse summoning technique, Naruto returned to a familiar place, Mount Nyoboku. Naruto's arrival at that time greeted happily by the toads there, because it had been a very long time since Naruto came to Mount Nyoboku. The great sage toad, Gamamaru, suddenly said that Naruto would be burdened by a heavy fate, and that a great threat already lurking around him. Hearing this, Naruto's heart skipped a beat, because those words were a prophecy from the great sage toad, which until now known that none of his predictions had ever failed. Without further questioning, Naruto already knew what great sage toad meant, in which his life in danger in the near future. Naruto clenched his fists to cover his nervousness, and told himself that this time he would be the first to bend the great sage toad's prophecy. To lighten the mood, Fukasaku opened the conversation by asking the purpose of the Hokage's arrival that's supposed to protect the village. Naruto explained to them about events that had happened, such as Ishiki Otsutsuki's attack on Konoha, Kurama's death due to the use of Baryon Mode, to Naruto's meeting with Hayabusa Uzumaki where Naruto got various information he needed to get new powers. Fukasaku still didn't understand the meaning of Naruto's words at that time, because he believed that Naruto already strong and had managed to master many techniques related to Senjutsu. Naruto continued that he needed this place to learn the new technique. Actually, any place doesn't really matter, but Naruto feels that Mount Myoboku is the most appropriate place to learn this new technique, considering that this is where Naruto started learning Senjutsu. Under Fukasaku's supervision, Naruto took out the scroll he had found in Uzumaki's clan storage temple, and then opened it. For the second time Naruto brought back to another dimension, but this time in a different place without any Uzumaki citizens. Not long after that, Hayabusa suddenly appeared the same as before, while this time Naruto seemed to have expected his presence. Naruto realized that every time the scroll opened, he would be transported to another dimension, where Hayabusa had been programmed to teach the secret technique inside the scroll. So far even though Naruto is in Uzumaki, he has never been able to use the special techniques of Uzumaki for several reasons. The first is because of the nature of Naruto which difficult to understand complicated things. The second is because no one can teach Naruto, because Uzumaki clan has long disappeared because of the massacre. Unlike before, this time Naruto felt very confident that he would be able to learn the secret techniques of Uzumaki clan, along with one of the strongest levels of Senjutsu, because Naruto had an idea of what he needed to do to master these techniques. Starting from the strongest and most difficult technique that Naruto saw in the scroll, the new power chakra mode. Naruto deliberately chose to learn this technique first, because he thought that if he could master this, then there would be no difficulty for him to master the other techniques. In the scroll it is only shown that the new power chakra mode will make the user's body wrapped in large amounts of chakra. Meanwhile in Naruto's memory, the new power chakra mode will provide a very large boost to the body, but at the cost of using tremendous chakra. Therefore, this technique's existence is kept a secret, and only limited to Uzumaki who have special chakra, because Uzumaki is endowed with a large chakra reserve that exceeds the average shinobi. With the help of Hayabusa who seemed to concentrate the flow of natural chakra in Naruto's body, Naruto began to focus his mind to extract chakra from his body. This process is not much different from the process where Naruto learns Sage Mode. It's just that the side effect is Naruto's death if he can't control the amount of chakra that enters his body. 
But with Naruto's experience of mastering Sage Mode in the past, Naruto wasn't worried about losing to this chakra-consuming process. Especially now that Naruto is not alone, there is Hayabusa who looks like he is ready at any time to help Naruto. If things got any worse, Hayabusa would cancel the training bringing Naruto back to his senses. Slowly, Naruto gathered the nature chakra around him. In the process Naruto nearly fainted several times due to the large amount of chakra revolving around his body. If Kurama still around, Naruto would have been able to handle this situation easily because at that time he still had a large chakra reserve, while now he doesn't have that anymore. Little by little blue chakra began to appear around Naruto's body, forming particles that surrounded his body. This procession is almost successful and will feel even more difficult for Naruto, because the use of chakra to activate this technique is very large, while natural chakra is constantly entering Naruto's body. As expected by Naruto, even though his whole body was in a lot of pain, Naruto able to endure it until in the end the new power chakra mode successfully carried out by Naruto completely. The pain all over Naruto's body replaced by a great amount of power that entered his body, as Naruto's body turned into a blue flame. Hayabusa smiled feeling proud of Naruto who can master this technique very quickly. Naruto got up, and in the blink of an eye he's moving very fast to test his new ability. Because his movements so fast at that time, Naruto thought that even Sasuke's Sharingan wouldn't be able to detect his current movements. In addition to a boost in Naruto's raw power, this blue chakra mode will also burn the opponent it touches. It is said that the burn effect is stronger than Amaterasu, because the blue fire is a sacred fire formed from natural chakra, and cannot be extinguished just like that. Naruto didn't think that the power of blue chakra mode would be this big, which he thought its strength was not stronger than Kurama chakra mode. Here Hayabusa explains that the scroll containing the secret techniques is actually the remnants of hope from Uzumaki clan, so that this secret technique does not just disappear and can be passed on to Uzumaki's next generation. Even though he has succeeded in mastering blue chakra mode, Naruto promises to use this power well. Naruto opened his memory again about the contents of the scroll, and began to try one by one the techniques stored in it. Naruto's previous assumption was correct, where he thought that if he could master blue chakra mode, then there would be no significant difficulty for him mastering other techniques. Starting from adamantine chains, by remembering the sensation when Kushina helped him control Kurama's power, Naruto could easily master this one technique, moreover Naruto also classified as an Uzumaki who has special chakra, just like his mother. The second is Uzumaki's strongest Fuenjutsu, which can seal even QB class monsters. Still activating his blue chakra mode, Naruto combines the techniques he just learned into a combination technique with a very strong attack power. But in the midst of the trial period for the technique he had just mastered, Hayabusa suddenly congratulated Naruto on his success in mastering the secret technique. As Hayabusa's body disappeared into particles and entered the scroll, Naruto seemed to be brought back to consciousness, where he's in Mount Myoboku. When Fukasaku saw Naruto open his eyes, he felt this time there's a pressing aura from Naruto, as if a new power had entered his body. Naruto clenched his fists, and said that he would change the fate that waiting for him with the power he just got. That's all for news updates from Shinobi Bros Official. What do you think about this video? Give your opinion in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss updates about the anime world. Thanks for watching, see you next time.